Hey YouTube, Mick from Sydney, Australia. Um, just preparing uh, my day kit. I'm going for a hunt at a forest called Vulcan State Forest in Oberon. So um, I'm preparing my gear for the day hunt. And I want to go really, really basic this time. Um, very basic. So what I want to do is basically... Uh, I've got all my gear out of this bag here. So basically... What I want to do is take this bag, um, it's an old World War II gas mask bag, I'm not sure if it's Australian or American or German or what, but um, I'm going to give this bag a test, so I think I've shown you a quick glimpse of this on uh, YouTube, so it just straps around, so I'm going to go through the gear I'm going to take with me, and uh, yeah, show you what I take on this, uh, this day hunt, so First of all, I want to take my uh, shoe polish container that I've uh, made a little uh, candling device um, for heat source for cooking, uh, a light source in case I'm there in the dark, or to help start a larger fire. So, um, and that blue stuff there is actually mozzie repellent. So, if the mozzies do attack, I can light this up and get rid of those bastards, so uh, that's going to go in the kit, um, that's my med kit, and the Barclays uh, mint tin, uh, yeah I've gone through that I think, uh, just band-aids, um, sewing needle and thread and whatnot. so just a little basic kit, uh, that's my fire kit, I think I've guys I've shown you that before, uh, just a fire steel, some matches and a striker, uh, cotton wool balls soaked in wax, and just some cotton wool balls, so that's my fire kit. Uh, bring a new emergency blanket. Just got a ball of um, twine. Just gonna bring it just in, just for the fits. Um, pair of gloves. Just uh, some other medical stuff. Just a. Uh, conforming bandage and some eye drops just in case you, know, you get something stuck in your eye and this will help with a snake bite if I do get bitten. Uh, I guess along with that I'm bringing my bandana which I usually wear around my wrist um, yeah, in case it's hot I'll wipe the sweat off me or filter water or use this again as a, as a medical emergency. Uh, I've got the uh, Paracords, I've got um, I don't know, about 10, 15 metres there, about 8 metres there, then I've got the good old builder's string, um, pink. This would be used if I had to set up a shelter because I've got a habit of uh, when I'm walking around a campsite, I've got a habit of running into the camouflage string holding up the tarp, so nice and bright. Um, OSG shotgun shell with uh, duct tape wrapped around it. Uh, just a spare battery uh, for the torch. So I'm not sure how many, how many lumens this is, but it's a, it's a really bright torch. 35 bucks at Safari Firearms. Uh, got a little fishing kit. Um, it's just an old torch, cheapy, but uh, I've wrapped some line around there and. The idea of this is, you know, when you're casting it, this is you know, kind of like the reel. And just inside, where the batches usually go, I've got, you know, some lures, some hooks, some sinkers. And I'll just sort my stuff in there. So, just a little fishing kit. Um, I'm bringing the buck saw. Buck saw there. Um, I've used this around the house and it's great. It does a good job, so yeah, I'm bringing that. Real strong and sturdy. Um, good old TNT satchel. Yeah, collecting water. Um, I guess if I did shoot some game, I mean, that's the hope of going on this day trip, but not hunting trip, but yeah, if I do want to bring some meat back, I can. Always put in that. Just a bodgy cheapo poncho. Um, 
aluminium foil. Uh, just a little fold out pocket knife. Uh, this is a, what is it, Beretta. Yeah, pretty sharp. Yeah, it's got a nice groove there, you know, non slip, really good. I guess that's good for sparking the, the file still, also. But yeah, nice little sharp blade. So, hope this comes in handy just in case. Um, I was smuck around the shed and found this this block. I don't know what it is, but it's similar to a file. It's good for smoothing down metal. I guess it's good for uh, touching up, you know, your knives or axes or what or whatnot. So I'm just bringing that just because it fits. I've got me uh, sharpening rod. So flat side there to sharpen knives. Curved side there, if you can see that to sharpen the serrated edges and then in the middle the uh, fish hook sharpener so that's coming with me dunny paper won't explain that uh, food wise uh, I'm just taking cheesy rice feeds four I reckon it will just feed me this whole packet but anyway um, I'll, I'll, I'll use half of it, have a meal. If I'm still hungry, I'll pick the rest up. So that's coming with me. Uh, just a muesli bar. A uh, la snack. La snack. Um, two cup of soups, pumpkin and roast chicken. Um, so that's the food. That's going with me. I'm just going for a day trip. In my car, I do keep uh, a good chunk of um, rice in my car, just in case I do get stuck out there for a day or two. Um, I can always head back to my car, and I've got rice. I mean, I've got about probably five kilo of rice in my car. So yeah, um, poncho and tarp, same color. I've just wrapped one twice and wrap one three times. Tarp, poncho. Uh, my life straw, just in case I do run out of water, I do find a stream. Uh, weighs nothing, I'll just chuck it in there. Bring in an aluminium kidney shaped cup. You know, it's been used to buggery. Uh, but I'm bringing that purely just to boil some water for pur purification purposes or to boil up a tea um, or whatnot. I do have my other cup which is on my my canteen here. Um, so I've got my got my hobo stove there and I've got my other tin which I'll basically cook the uh, rice in. Um, you know I'm gonna have a tea and I'm gonna have rice so I'd rather have a nice clean cup for the tea and you know leave that dirty and clean it when I get home for the rice. Um, I don't think there'll be any streams where we're going. There may be, it's the first time I'm going there. But yeah, that fits with that. So, so yeah, hands are dirty because I just trolled something out on it, so doesn't matter. So yeah. Some of the handle, so that's what I'm taking there. That's what uh, it's going to go into. Also, carry a little little grill that goes on top of the uh, hobo kidney shaped stove in case I want to grill some meat or whatnot. Um, if you've seen my video of grilling a little bit of uh, rump steak, um, I didn't use that one, but yeah, similar idea. So, uh, also the paracord bracelet. Um, I just got this from eBay the other day. It took friggin' two months to get here, but uh, yeah, I've got that, so I wear that everywhere. So obviously that's come with me. Um, cutlery, just a spork. It's actually something I had at home. I cut the handle off to make it smaller, so that comes with me. Uh, obviously, let's see that. My uh, Leatherman Wingman will come with me everywhere. Uh, the knife I'll bring. So the knife I'll bring this trip is the 
the Buck 119. Um, I'm going to give this a bit, bit of a field test. I took out the Gerber LMF2 last trip and gave that bit of a test, and yeah, it went pretty well. But um, I'm going to test out the uh, good old Buck 119. Yeah, nice thick blade. Just love this knife, so that's come with me. Next trip, I will take out the Buck 192. Obviously, a smaller blade, but I'll, I'll try the next trip. And uh, of course, what I'm going to take also and put in my bag is the Mezarin Italian fold out knife. I think if you've seen my video, it, it shaves. Hairs like you wouldn't believe, straight from the uh, from the box. It just shaves it like you wouldn't believe. Watch out, I'm not gonna cut myself here, but I mean, see that? Yeah, the hairs are on there. So great foldy, so that'll come with me also. Um, so yeah, so everything's gonna fit in this bag. Uh, I've been filming for 11 minutes now, so I'm not going to stuff everything in here. I'll uh, make a separate video with everything stuffed in here. But uh, that comes with me. The uh, water bottle comes with me in here. Let's put the clips down. And then basically that will hang onto that bag there and uh, yeah hunting we will go water bottle there contents of the bag there straps around out of the way got my shoddy um, I usually take my 30-30 with me but I think for this trip I'm just going to take the uh, good old shotgun and uh, see what damage I can do with that um, render 600 if you're watching I finally picked up a little EDC keychain torch, so thanks mate, got that. Super cheap SCA. So yeah, it's alright mate, so I'm slowly building my kit there. Also picked up another tube. Uh, it's just got a piece of paper in the moment. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna put on that. I'll probably put some water purification tablets in there slash painkillers. Um Thank you guys.